Yes, that is a big planet, and so is that one. There is also another one right here. You can see these all lined up in your sky at night. It's a big void of no stars in the north horizon. Many people are getting pictures of the bodies behind you. They belong to an ultraviolet sun, our original sun. It is a high energy sun. UV you can't see with your eyeballs. But you can see the void these planets are making in your sky with your own eyes. And if you have a decent camera, you can get a picture of the planets making that dark spot. With your own fucking eyes you can see this high energy sun behind us our original sun how can i say it's our original sun well let's cover that and this is the magnet signature of your original sun the one we were created on and it has that magnet signature in your biology that's my first clue we came off of a very high energy sun. We have a magnet in our chest. It's just like Earth. And magnetic properties demand if you bring this to the same frequency as this, you're going to inherit the strength of Earth and be shield too, steward. Now, people like this are going to tell you lies. They use energy content and try to tell you the entire universe is uh, disintegrating. And it's not. Simple fact is we shrunk because we're on a low energy sun. He also goes and says horrible things about women in general. And he uses information like, oh, Ben Davidson, who will tell you the moon isn't doing cartwheels. Although, several hundred people have gotten very good footage of it doing cartwheels. Except this guy, he won't do footage of the moon 12 hours apart. He'll stick a photograph of the moon on a wire the way he feels like it should look. Well, it doesn't look like that anymore. All you got to do is look. And that guy can flap his lips all day long. If you look and see, you'll know he's a lying piece of shit that wants you dead. And treat him accordingly. Now this is a result of those planets behind you. And we're on our side, making the sky roll. So, there you go. Long and short of it, folks. Now y'all have heard of Reiki. All I'm talking about is the same thing except it's on steroids it takes away pain the way you were created everybody can do this I've shown many videos we talked about it yesterday on my live how to do this your warm hands you put them together really close not touching and you're gonna feel the energy in your hands that's your soul people We've heard this from the cuneiform. That which gives us power is that which gives us life. They can't separate that. So they had to separate us at the Tower of Babel. It wasn't a God. Well, it depends on your definition of God. Not the creator of everything that did that. The creator of everything gave us our soul, our magnet, our strength, our power. These little gods that Lee worships in that book called the Bible are Anunnaki. They are a race of individuals like people. And they came upon us and decided to, war to judge over our souls and blow big craters inside of Earth's crust and build machines, electromagnetic machines that capture men's souls and recycle them into the halls of Amenti. We've read this in the Tablets of Toth, 
over and over and over again. And those halls of Amenti clearly do not lay in Giza. They tell us where they are here in the Midwest. Very specifically, all these researchers that you people listen to don't give you the information you need to have. So I suggest listening to the cuneiform yourself. Some refer to it as Bible canon, the first written language. Much like this entire scenario here was set up by the CIA to distract you from the reality of stratospheric aerosol injections for radiation management solar radiation management this gives you dispersal this gives you ingredients and methods etc and tells you exactly who's doing it this gets your children taken away because you're crazy period you starting to get the idea my research is watertight I'm not going to give you a theory, ever. Homebrewed won't give you a theory either. He'll give it you the same information I do, without all the cussing. These last two were really good videos, by the way, John. He's also got pictures, time stamped, of the moon and what it does every night. You can see it with your own eyes and I highly suggest doing that nobody can tell you different after you've seen it yourself now if I disappear again you can hit my bit shoot angry catfish Bit shoot has an awful lot more information about sensitive material than my YouTube ever will. Or this page. On Facebook, I'll, I'll do my lives like I did all week over here. Because I'll tell you this much. Susie doesn't like real information, concrete information. I've been absolutely right about everything I've ever said and is documented on that BitChute channel, if you care to know. And I won't be getting another YouTube channel, so I'm going to try not to get this one struck. This is where we meet, until we can twitch again. I just don't have the money for a fucking computer right now. Thank you.